In this video, we'll be covering the topic naming the quadrant or axes of a point given its coordinates. And so this is an example. Most of the problems in Alex, though, only give you, I think, three or four of these options. But I wanted to include an example of where a point lies in each of the four quadrants, as well as in, on each of the axes. So I do want to point out that you do need to label everything first before you begin. So quadrant one is always in the top right corner. Um, then quadrant two is top left. And then quadrant three is bottom left. Quadrant four is bottom right. So it does start in the top right and it goes counterclockwise, okay? The horizontal axis is called the X axis and the vertical axis is called the Y axis, okay? Now, if you notice, the values of the X coordinates and the Y coordinates in quadrant one are positive and positive. The signs in quadrant two for X are negative, but then for the Y values are positive. For quadrant three, the, si the signs for the X values are negative and the signs for the Y values are also negative. In quadrant four, the X values are positive and the Y values are negative. So notice that there's different sign conventions for each of the four quadrants, okay? Now, if you're on the X axis, I mean, I'm sorry, if you're on the Y axis, the coordinates will always be zero for X and then some coordinate for Y. If you're talking about the X axis, the X value will be some coordinate, but the Y coordinate will be zero. The Y coordinate being zero is what makes it land on top of the X axis. Now let's go ahead and plot these points and then we can uh, name the quadrant or axes of where they lie, okay? Just based off of signs alone, you can already anticipate it's gonna be quadrant three. But if I were to go two, four, five, and then two, three, it would be here, just confirming that it is going to be quadrant three. Here we have a positive X value and a negative Y value. So it is going to be in quadrant four. Here we have zero for the X coordinate, but positive seven for the Y coordinate. So that does put it on top of the Y axis. Notice there's no X coordinate, just a Y coordinate. Now for here, we have a negative X value, but a positive Y value, which puts the coordinate there. And again, a negative and a positive would result in quadrant two. Um, and then now a positive two and a positive six is here, which again, positive coordinates means you will be in quadrant one. And then finally, I have negative two for my X value, but zero for my Y value. So notice I have no Y value. I only have an X value, which makes this land on the X axis, okay? So that is just a complete example of all different cases of course, the number of values will change, but you will get some variation of these problems with the signs. 